So I've been using the DeepSeq R1 model for a couple of hours now, and just anecdotally, I feel like it's been performing better than the O1 model. It's been performing better than Cloud Sonnet 3.5 model, and it's just incredible how available and cheap it is to use. Now, in the last video, I showed you how you can get the API usage and how also you can use the chat interface. The best part about the DeepSeq R1 model is that they also release the weights, so you can also download the weights and use this model completely locally. Now, the way that you can do that is just go over to the Unslot AI Hugging Face page. So it's huggingface.co forward slash Unslot. Here you can scroll down to DeepSeq R1 all versions. And then the one that I've been using is the DeepSeq R1 Distill Quen 14 bill GGUF version. Now here, if you click on files, you'll see all of these different versions that are available. So it really depends on what sort of GPU that you have. So I've been using an NVIDIA 4090 GPU and I could easily run the Quen 14 bill Q6K version. So the way that you can use this model locally is either through LM Studio or Olama or a bunch of other uh, providers, but these are the two main ones. So if you don't have Olama, all you would do is just go to olama.com, click on download, and then download this one for Windows. Once that's done, pretty much all you would do is go in here and then click on use this model, click Olama, and the one that we want is Q6 underscore K. And the reason we want this one, and I'm just gonna copy this, is because it's 12.1 gigs. So it still leaves a lot of room for more context. If, for example, you're asking some questions. We could easily also fit this model if you wanted to as well. Now, how do we run this? Well, open up your command prompt window, and then first just type in Olama, just to see if everything is working fine. And then to pull this model, you'll just paste this command, Olama run, and then this. So once you run this, it's gonna first download this model. And then once it's downloaded, here you'll be able to chat with it. So who are you? And you'll see that it gets a response. And you can see that's incredibly fast at giving a response here as well. Another alternative is to use LM Studio. So to set that up, all you would do is just click here, LM Studio, and then open up LM Studio. Once you do that, it's gonna have you select uh, which one it needs to download. So here, all you would do is select this one, and then download, and there we go. It started downloading this model. So no matter what interface you want to use, you can download this model to use locally. Now, suppose that you wanna set this up and not use Command Prompt, but maybe use something like Open Web UI. Well, I've also linked a series on that. So if you wanted to check that out, uh, definitely take a look at that and then come back to this video. But to do that, I'm gonna first open up Open Web UI. And then here I can see that I have the Hugging Face Unslot Deep Sleek R1 Distill Quen 14 bill parameter model available. And all I'm gonna do is say, who are you? And there we go. We're able to interact with this model. It does the think unthink un here as well, but you can really start using this for benchmarking a lot of different things. So. These are some ways in which you can run the DeepSeq R1 model locally. Thank you all for tuning in. And if you want me to cover something else in the future, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. Goodbye.